Patty, what does it take on, on these nights where it may seem like it's hard to get a flow? Um, what does it take on nights like that to pull through and persevere and get a victory? Um, as hard as it might be at that point in time, the big picture, I think, um, understanding the big picture and, and where we want to be at the end of the day, the last team standing, what it takes to get there, it's hard, it's not easy, nothing's going to be handed to us on a silver platter, it's a grind, it's a marathon, um, and nights like tonight, you just got to dig deep and, and uh, find a way to be infectious um, in a good way and, and be able to spread those good vibes on the court, on the bench, no matter what it is. Um, hustle plays, get the team going. Um, I, I think the big picture perspective is, is the answer to your question. You guys you get the W, but what kind of challenge is it when you're shorthanded, you just come off of a long road trip, second half of back to back? What kind of challenge is it to find that chemistry again with a lot of new faces and figure out ways? Well, to yeah, that, that's been our challenge um, over the course of the season already is finding the chemistry, new pieces to the puzzle and finding ways to, to make it work. Um, but at the end of the day, it's what we can control um, and I think that's where we're at as a group is trying to understand what we, we can control and, and stick with that, um, you know, and, and not let other things kind of waver, waver from that. Um, defensively, obviously last night um, we, we got given a, a pretty good lesson on, on you know, how to be how to able to, to defend good basketball and, and good movement, good players, uh, good ball movement um, and, and tonight um, not the same movement, but, you know, there was glimpses there of, of playing really good good defense. At the end of the day, you know, for us to, to be the last team standing, we're going to need everyone to be able to make an impact on the floor whenever they enter the game and, and find ways to be able to um, inject their, their juice um, on the team. So, um, yeah. Hey, last night, Steve talked about the offense getting stagnant at times in the second half. That first half, I mean, I think it was 17 assists on your first 20 baskets. What, what was working so with you guys offensively early on? What done good for us in the first what, Yeah, what? <laughs> I get jumbled on it here, you're right. What, just what was working so well offensively in the first half for you guys tonight? Um, moving the ball. I, th I thought we moved the ball um, really good. Obviously, with, with the 17 assists in the first half, we've done a good job of being able to find open, open guys, good to great, you know, being able to attack the paint, find an open guys. Um, you know, credit to their defense in the second half too. They found ways to be able to stop that pre penetration, um, get the ball out of, out of certain guys' hands. Um, and again, back to the chemistry, it's just trying to find those, those um, guys on the floor that, that works. But at the end of the, end of the day, I think, um, again, if we're able to find a way to control the game on the defensive end and let that flow to the offensive end, and now we're coming downhill with a little bit of momentum in, in transition, then that's, that's how we would, we would like to play. Um, but, you know, credit to how they came out in the, in the second half and, and were more physical and, and running around and, and made us scramble.